just visited the Victoria Sketch Club's art show, and it was absolutely fantastic. There was a wide array of artwork that highlighted the exceptional talent here in Victoria. It felt like a special gathering, a true homage to the spirit of artistic collaboration and expression. My name is Vicky Turner, and I'm the communications director for the Victoria Sketch Club. This is our 115th annual exhibition and sale to take place in Victoria, BC. Our Sketch Club is the um, oldest group of artists getting together on a regular basis in Western Canada. This is our 115th show, but the club actually has been in existence for a few more years than that. We've had very illustrious members over the years, such as Emily Carr, Ted Harrison, and Jack Shadbolt. And um, we like to think that these uh, ancestor painters of ours have kind of paved the way uh, for an art community that it, here in Victoria that is very vibrant. We have 50 members in our club, uh, 40 of them are active painters, and this particular rendition of the show has over 160 paintings in it, which are the most that we've ever exhibited. We have been welcoming people here for a couple of days. Uh, the show is usually on for five and a half days. Attendance has been good, sales are very encouraging, and our club just loves the idea of being able to disseminate art to those in the greater Victoria community and beyond who appreciate art. I also had the opportunity to chat with some of the artists. It was inspiring to hear about their journeys in art and share a little bit of their artistic lives. Hello, I'm Myra Bainton and I'm a member of the Victoria Sketch Club. I started my interest in art quite, um, quite early on. The Victoria, I grew up here in Victoria, and uh, Victoria had a painting in the parks for children early on, and I was a member of that, and then spent more time and getting more in depth in, in my interest in art in high school. Um, after high school, uh, of course, I um, was at university, then career got in the way, and children, and I kind of put my um, interest in art on hold. But um, living in the Middle East for a while, I took a painting and drawing course and revisited um, um, my love of, of painting and drawing. My name is Christine Gallner, and um, I have uh, lived, lived in many places. My husband was in the military, so um, I grew up here, but have been in many different um, areas of Canada and Germany and England. Um, I have always loved art. Uh, it's uh, something that, um, oh, I don't know, it's, it's really deep into somebody's being. And you really must go and paint when you, you have this feeling. My name is Ken McKenzie. I was born in Toronto. And uh, my earliest uh, recollections of painting uh, had to do with my father, also Ken McKenzie, who painted in pastels. So my earliest recollections were sitting beside my father when I was about five years old and watching him paint uh, in pastels. So as he painted in pastels, it was a natural that I also would uh, paint in pastels. Unfortunately, I, uh, I had a number of uh, creative jobs, but uh, I was not able to really pursue my art until uh, much later. And in fact, uh, it was uh, it was 40. I was 57 by the time I actually uh, was able to begin uh, painting once again in pastels. And uh, I've been painting now for 20 years. I've uh, I've worked exclusively in pastels, chalk pastels. I think it's, when I look at everybody's art, it is, a, every piece is a celebration of that particular place and, and that art must reflect the feeling that they had when they, they were there. My inspiration often comes from a, various um, 
uh, sources. Um, I'm a, I love traveling, so I always take a travel journal with me to have a visual journal. I love the West Coast, the forests and the ocean. But also, um, I like the um, kind of reflections that one gets from a cityscape. So I've been uh, experimenting more with acrylic where I could get some texture and um, I've been working to um, build more of the uh, cityscape kind of um, uh, illustrations as you can see from the one on my right side here. Prior to moving to Victoria I had painted uh, a number of different locations based on some of my travels to uh, different uh, locations and um, it became evident uh, when I had moved out here uh, that uh, it was time to change my subject matter and uh, it was time to focus on uh, Victoria which is a beautiful city and uh, my focus became uh, urban and areas around uh, the island as well. So that was my, uh, that was my focus. I it's a bit of surrealism there. There is um, an exaggeration, um, and that, that is to give the feeling. That I, I, I think the word was uh, one of the great artists, I think it was Gauguin said, it's synthesizing. You, you take the object and you synthesize it. You make it into a simpler form. In terms of my, uh, the compositions, uh, I do actually uh, strive for realism. I strive for a degree of realism. And um, I will uh, overall, uh, I, would, I strive for 75, 80% uh, of the painting. I, I would like it to be uh, similar to the reality, although I always uh, will try and uh, improve on certain areas. Uh, some areas will be left out. I will, uh, I will try and uh, include those details, especially in the foreground, uh, to make the subject a lot more interesting. Um, and I'll definitely uh, use some creative expression and freedom of the artist in terms of um, for example, cloud in the sky, for example, takes up a lot of space on a painting. I really enjoy being a member of the um, Victoria Sketch Club as um, the artists there are very supportive. You're always learning from others' um, experiences, being inspired by others' uh, techniques, and um, their um, very supportive again um, in providing critiques and um, new ways to um, look at art and look at the world. Being with the Victoria Sketch Club has been for the last 30 years or more I've been with the Victoria Sketch Club and it's like family. We, we get together and discuss our art, we get tips and, and how Please to proceed and Victoria maybe, but we we all do different art and this is what makes this show actually such a, a delight. People say there's so many different things here. So that's, that's the joy of it all. Yes. Thank you for joining me. It was a casual and insightful conversation with the artist and I hope you enjoyed it.